Looks like we're all good. I'm gonna play the video game now, chat. Okay, yeah, it's definitely good for real now. So I'm all set to do this. I went ahead and leveled up, and I also got that golem like I promised. It's named Rockman, as you can see. Everybody is either 75 or 76, because this game has made it very clear that um, when I beat someone, the next trainer is going to be like five le levels higher. And we're talking like boss trainers, that is. Hang on a second. Let me just bike my way through this again. I think I remember the way through. Alright, I haven't fought whatever's here. Some of these um, wild Pokemon tiles are one time only. Say hello to Rockman, everybody. As you can see, it comes with self-destruct and explosion, but they have one PP. It also has Earthquake and Rock Slide. Luckily, we don't have to worry too much. We might need to use self-destruct. Like, those can honestly be good options if I can't do anything else. It's kind of wild how, like, the level jumps are so high that I have to train up a new Pokemon between every episode. Alright, there we go. It's also currently holding the Lucky Egg, because I don't really have an item for it. I'm keeping the Soft Sand on uh, Dana for the, her Earthquake. Okay, I had to lean in the sea there. Alright, so I don't remember her first Pokemon. We're just about set up here. Hang on, I'll just make a quick save, just in case I need to reload. Obviously, I can't use Explosion on uh, the Mistrevis, but I don't know if she's going to switch into it if the AI is cheating like that. Put Sonic up front. Let me try that. Hold it right there. Here we go. Then after this, we'll go fight Price. We can't have a brat like you on the loose. It's harmful to Team Rocket's pride. Just wait for the Dragonite to come in and just punch her. Here it comes. Where did Lance even come from? Like, the entrance? What was he doing to help? He's not very good at this for a champion. Okay, what you got? I should be more than set to take her out now. Okay, she did start with Mistrevis. That's fine. I do have Bite. I wonder if I could go for the flinch, but I'm also slow. I would do more damage with Surf with Mystic Water, honestly. Okay, you're going first. Hmm. Question is, are you going to use Psychic or Shadow Ball? Okay, that's doing too much damage. Okay, cool. Critical hit. Right way to start. Could try using Earthquake with Rockman, but... Ugh. A critical is all it takes to just kind of ruin things for a little bit, huh? Let's see if the AI cheats. Okay, it doesn't. Good. Try this. Nightshade. Okay, if that's the best thing they can do, I can definitely take out Mistrevis with this. Yeah, I'm not worried about Shadow Ball, because it's a physical move. It would never use it. That's a good amount. Now what do you got next? Executor. Alright. Uh, I guess Alucard can just spam Flamethrower. No, the level jumps in this game are just... They're really like this. This is Mahogany Town, not Azalea Town. Is gonna be rough to the very end. Yes, it is. Executor has got high special. But I am Charizard. Best it could probably do is just hit me with a hard psychic. Alright, that's the charcoal at work there. Good. Probably be under leveled by the middle of the episode. Yeah, probably. Okay, you had a star me, that's right. Um, probably would be best just to use... I could go for Megahorn, actually. That might be better. But it's Starmie, so it could hit me with Stab Psychic. I might be better off just using Thunder Punch with Sakura. Give it a punch. It's very blue. I don't think Starmie Shiny looks like this in modern games. Can't quite recall what it looks like at all. Yeah. Best it could do is surf. 
That's good. It's a Kaizo mod, and it's Starmie. Starmie is just like, for the first two gens, was just like the king of packing like uh, random special moves like Psychic, Surf, and Thunderbolt. Two of those being Stab. Especially Gen 1 where it was st like stupid fast. Ooh, that's a good amount. Three left. Houndoom. Houndoom. This would be good for Sonic to use Surf. The problem is there's already been enough damage. Hmm. That shiny Houndoom? I didn't realize it looked like that in Gen 2. I thought it was more like Golden in the modern one. Frustration. Okay, this is gonna kill me. Oh, nice. I lived. I guess its best options were supposed to be, um... Obviously supposed to be Flamethrower or whatever, but I can't do them. Hmm, come on. There you go. Almost. Kangaskhan. Alright, this is what we need Dana for. Perfect. There's that silver Kangaskhan. Look at that little baby wobble in there. Now hit it with submission. Make it cry. Both of them. Will it do enough? We shall see. Remember last episode, how I spent the entirety of that stream just inside the rocket hideout? Man, they made this place quite tedious to get through, mostly because of the first room, Marowak. Okay, I could probably outspeed Marowak, let's find out. Not a big deal if not. I'm on to get it. Okay. Once again, you guys don't hear the fan in the background. We're in the middle of a heat wave, so... I pretty much... Again, it's mandatory. Oh, kind of a shame, though, because, like, I spent the last couple days, I wanted to do some editing, but I just, like, felt sick sitting around my house for the most part. It was just so hot. Okay. Almost a 200 special attack. Okay, good. You really are strong. That's too bad. If you were to join Team Rocket, you could become an executive. This hideout is done for, but that's fine. The broadcast experiment was a success. Doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now. We have much bigger plans. You'll come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. <laughs> that did it. We defeated all the Rockets here. But I'm concerned about the young guy I battled in the process. Sorry, Asprey. I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. Now all there is left to do is to turn off that odd radio signal. Alright, now how are they going to make the electrodes annoying? It's this machine that's causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. That should stop this machine from transmitting that strange signal. No fault to the Pokémon, so it makes me feel guilty. Asprey, let's split the job. Yeah, let's split the guilt as well, I guess. Hang on a second. Here's somebody speeding by outside. Let's put Rockman up front. Rockman should be good for taking these out. Yeah, yeah, thanks for getting this out there, Yo-Yo. I appreciate it. So many happy bears for everyone. Oh, it's a ditto. That's even easier to beat. Just switch in my, uh, sand true. What's it gonna do? Cry the death? Okay. Doesn't really matter too much what I do. Just send in Dana or something. It's using cut. Poor little baby. It can't do a thing to us. <laughs> Ditto is just kind of tedious to fight, that's all. And it's not going to give much experience for this either. This would be really annoying if I didn't have, like, a low-powered Pokemon with me. 
pretty much just have no choice but to switch. Even if I let it... Oh, this one's actually an electrode. Never mind. I was looking at chat, and then I look looked over and realized, wait a second, that actually was Electrode's cry. Can't T-bolt me. Nice, let's go. Man, I already need to just, like, chug a cold drink right now. I got the lucky egg on Rockman, so we're gonna get a benefit out of this. Okay, next one. Actual Electrode. They probably put the ditto on the bottom to make you think they're all going to be dittos so that you switch your, your front Pokemon up or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure in Gen 2, Electrode is still the fastest Pokemon, right? I don't think it was until, like, Speed Deoxys or something that something could outspeed it. I might be wrong about that. Maybe Ninjask? All right. Not including speed boost. Yes, yes, okay. That odd signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the hero, let me thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon that we just beat up. You should take this. I found it here, but I don't have a use for it. That's Whirlpool. Teach it to a Pokemon to get across wild water, but keep this in mind. You can use that out of battle only with the badge from Mahogany. Asprey, the journey to becoming the Pokemon Master is a long, dif long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? I see. No, you're right. If you would give up that easily, you would have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. Okay. Okay. Not that's. Oh, guess I didn't walk on this tile before. All right, let's fight the Ditto. Now, what was I gonna say? God, I wish I, I went and forgot something. I was thinking maybe I should put Whirlpool on uh, Sonic. Hang on a second. It uh, it does only have Quick Attack, Sand Attack, and Bite. I could always, by the time I need more moves, I can delete it later. I don't need Quick Attack at all, priority or not. My attack is garbage, and it's not gonna like finish anything. I don't think trapping damage is going to do anything, but I just don't want to carry around an extra Pokemon, because Cut can't, obviously can't learn Whirlpool. Can't run from these battles, so I gotta send in Cut here. Anyways, chat, uh, something, yeah, I was gone for a couple days, well, not streaming for a couple days, so there's been, like, a lot of news since that happened. Uh, everybody's been messaging me about it, but I have seen it. Uh, Clock Tower is getting a remaster. I cannot... I still cannot even believe that's real. I'm like, how is that real? Like, the classic Super Nintendo game with Scissor Man. Uh, I believe it's being made by the Shantae devs. Capcom and Sunsoft, uh, Sunsoft still own the rights to it, but they're letting... They're giving it... Letting them make the game, which is pretty wild. Retro Game Bonanza a few days ago. Yeah, Gex is coming back. Like, like... All, most of the people I follow on Twitter, like, love, like, random, like, obscure games like that, so everyone was just freaking out. There we go. I did, like, a mi little mini-marathon of Clock Tower games uh, last autumn. You can find the playlist for that. Those playthroughs were a lot of fun, and I still wanted to replay Nightcry and play Haunting Ground, which is a game that's kind of, sort of, a spiritual successor at the time to Clock Tower. I think it started development as a Clock Tower game. All right. All right, let's get out of here. I've been trying to do <laughs> do that game for a bit, but, you know, stuff gets in the way. The problem with, like, streaming variety is that you always feel like you're not streaming, like, enough. There's always, like, something you want to play. So, it so I end up talking about a bunch of different things I want to play. And then months go by, and obviously, like, there's a bunch of them that I haven't gotten to yet. Okay. Let me see here. I wonder if I should get myself some extra levels off things right quick. I will. Yeah, I heard about that. There's, a, like, a CD... Zelda CD... What?! 
what are you? Who are you? Why are you here? I I've flown to this exact spot so many times. Okay. Well then. I guess I have to deal with this. If a trainer spots another trainer, he has to make a challenge. And another one on the right. That caught me off guard. I've been flying to this part over and over to grind the fire Pokemon down south. When do these guys appear? Is it after you're done with the... Probably after when you're done with the rocket hideout. Uh, can you do a whole lot to me? Probably anyway. I'm gonna switch. Yep, it's after you beat the rocket hideout. Okay. I remember there being trainers here, but... Ahaha! Can't get Dana with those charms. She's already taken by Jill. Kill. Not enough time to play games. Yeah, that's for sure. There's little point to fighting these guys in the base, base games. So you always forget. True enough. All right, so I'm gonna put Whirlpool on Vaporeon so I can use that to go to keep my team together. Ooh, Electabuzz, this is perfect. However, remember that Electabuzz is capable of learning Ice Punch, even Psychic, so it might be able to still hit me hard. Still, I should be good enough to survive a hit, I hope. Yep, it's got Ice Punch, I thought so. All right, can I live? Oh, yeah, it's perfect. It's not going to be Stab, and it's not the hardest-hitting Ice move, so... Take it out. I caught this Golem when I was uh, leveling up the other night. And got it all trained up. It, it... This game gets so brutal that I really just have no choice but to train up a brand new Pokémon between episodes. It's kind of absurd, but... Those of you watching probably have noticed how necessary it is. The next one might be going for a Dragonite. If you're wondering about the Golem's IVs, it has bad speed and special stats, but it has perfect HP, uh, almost perfect attack, and I think like 11 defense. So that's probably one of the best ones I can get. I'll take it. Doesn't matter what Golem's speed and special defense are, because let's face it, if it even... Yeah, if it... If you spit on it, it just dies from the water damage. Oh, cool. Full restore. Oh, boy. Here we go. Anyways, yeah, we were talking about... Talking about Zelda CDI games before this trainer jump-scared me. Um... The person who made the Zelda CDI PC port is actually involved with this, but they're making, like, sort of like a spiritual successor to, um... The Zelda CDI games. Like, they're just making, like, a brand new original IP in the style of those games. And I'm just like, what? Honestly, I'd be I'd be kind of be down to stream the Zelda CDI PC port if people want to see that now. Because I have... Now I actually have an interest in that because of this new game. If I'm not mistaken... Oh, you're not a trainer. Good. If I'm not mistaken as well, I believe they said that they got... Um... I have to fight them both. All right, I'll fly back and heal. They have Zelda's voice actress from the CDI games for the protagonist. That's what I was hearing, but I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah, there's just so many, like, games coming out. Like, I want to play more. I just want to play more stuff. Yet here I am playing Pokemon Crystal for the 50th time, but hey, y'all love that one the most when I upload it. All right. We hope to see you again. Let's fly back again. Oh, boy! Now, those guys are fishermen. Um... Probably could get away with putting Dana up front. Hang on. Rockman is not really gonna need the lucky egg right now, so we'll do this. Dana's already holding soft sand. Yep, we'll do that. Put this on you, just because... Um, actually, you know what? I think I'll just let Sakura do this. You know, there could be some bulky water types, and... 
Mm, I'm not confident I could one-shot with Thunder Punch, depending on the certain kind of water type that comes out, so... I don't want to risk getting hit by a dumb, like, physical move. Alright, let's go. Let me battle with the Pokémon I just caught. Ugh. Yeah, there's so many games coming out, and, like, even now, there's still a bunch of games that I'm catching up on. Like, we're, play we're continuing Mother 1 after this today. I've been playing that for the first time, and it's been fun. And, of course, it had to be Gyarados. I should have put Sakura up front after all, but it's fine. Let's see how much damage I can do with this thing. Well, that's okay. We can always just stream. That just means more comfy things to stream. Unfortunately, though, I'm not able. Wasn't able to get anything uploaded today. Uh, please don't miss this. Please don't miss. Th ah, of course you do. I haven't been able to get anything uploaded today because some of the other stuff I have on backup, like I have an entire Castlevania Portrait of uh, Portrait of Ruin randomizer, and the full playthrough of Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Both of which are, like, you know, around five or six hours a piece. And they're all edited. I just can't render them because if I leave my PC rendering in this heat like that for something that long, I feel like it's just going to crash. So I'm just playing it a little safe, so there might be a little bit of a delay on those. Luckily, since I'm playing a Game Boy and NES game after this, those should be much easier to, like, get uploaded, because the file size for the footage is, like, nothing in comparison. No matter what I am, blah, 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 Pokemon the same. Here we go. Here we go. Fisher Raymond would like to battle. Omastar. Now this I can hit with my little friend here. Can I one-shot it, though? find out. I feel like I should probably, like, do another, like, clean out of my PC soon anyway. Dust in there can just pile up faster than you think. Excellent. Always has to... I could just use Earthquake. I could also just send in Sakura for a quick Psychic. Let's do that. I always kind of put off cleaning, like, the dust out of my PC because, like, um... Like, I pretty much always have to have the thing on for, like, work-related reasons, whether I'm streaming, letting something render or upload. I can't just, like, have a good, like, little while to turn it off <laughs> just to clean it. Not to mention, like, cleaning it out in this heat just sounds like a tedious task. I don't want to drip sweat on anything. Okay. Lantern. Maybe I'll I'll probably do it like uh, tonight after I'm done streaming if I can. Um, I'll just send Dana back in. She can safely earthquake this thing. This is a bit of a tank. Hey, there you go. Hey, come on. Do better. Destroy it. Luckily, right now, my PC isn't doing anything intensive, as you can see. <laughs> um, just playing a Game Boy game should be more than fine. It's slow, bro, so I'm gonna go for Megahorn. I remember, like, the last time I had issues with my PC overheating was, like, um... Uh, I think it was, like, back around 2020 when I was playing, like, Resident Evil, like, 3 Remake, I had some- I had some issues with my PC, like, blue-screening once. I think that may have just been the PC. Who knows? I assume that stuff would- that's- that's what happens when stuff like that occurs. My line's all tangled up. Anyways, I've beaten you, and I got money for it. Now there's you here. Yeah, let's keep fighting with you. I heard this lake was made by Rampage and Gyarados. Wonder if there's any connection to their mass outbreak. Why do they put you here? Just to make sure I can't surf on the lake again. What happened to the red Gyarados? It's gone? 
Oh darn, I came for nothing. I know, let's battle. I think 2020 was when there was a Windows update that could make games crash. I got blue screens on Doom Eternal, for example. Okay. We'll see. Updates are weird, man. I remember there was a Windows update one time where, like, for, like, a month, it caused... It caused, uh, sometimes my monitor would just, like, black screen and then go back to complete normal. And what happened while I would stream, so all of a sudden I just freak out thinking my computer just crashed. And chat's just like, what, what, what's wrong, dude? Like, nothing happened. But all of a sudden, like, just everything would freeze and then black screen for a few seconds. How does that even happen? Okay, I'm gonna continue with the earthquake. I'm gonna take full advantage of this lucky egg. I think Mina said it happened to her a few times, too. Break it. The cool trainers are already at level 70. Four thousand. That's a lot. But now... Ooh, perfect. Apparently Dana was the best lead for this. The cat looks so glossy. What did they- what did they just try to use? I think it was Hypnosis. Okay, perfect. 3330. Oh. Politoed. Mm, I could probably take it. It might use Parish Song and make me switch anyway. I almost never see Politoed's like, um... Gen 2 sprite because nobody freaking used one. None of the in-game trainers and nobody playing the game would either. What did Politoed even do in Gen 2 that would make you want to use it over Polyrath? Because I know that in future gens it got drizzle at least, but I never really understood what the point of it was supposed to be. Maybe it was the special attacker one? Who knows? I don't even know what its stats are. Mr. Mime. Let's hit it with the horn. Yeah! Drill right through its chest there. Thirty sixty. And Exeggutor. Another thing I can just use Megahorn on. Okay, this is fine. Dana definitely got her levels in here, for sure. We got Lucky Eggs, so everything is A-OK -okay now. The Rocket Hideout gave me, like, literally, what, three of them? I don't fully remember, but it's fine. Good going. Since I have the Lucky Egg on... Oh, hi, Joey. I could just use Earthquake on the, um... I could also just go beat up Joey right quick, too. Hang on. All in favor of me just destroying Youngster Joey? I think that boy needs to be taught a lesson. Let's get on my Charizard and go say hello. I don't even need to heal. That's how confident I am that I can beat his Rattata. This might be risky, but I'm gonna do it. I've been waiting. Let's battle now. Maybe I have a I, that I actually have badges will actually have more levels. Oh, we gotta eradicate. It's level 28. Um, did the dev even bother adjusting the rematch teams or what? Maybe they wouldn't, just to make it harder to grind, for all I know. And 44. Oh, I lost again. I think I could still honestly take a level 100 Raticate. Alright, let's go over here. One that just bait up some things here. This grass has lots of high-level fire types. So 
So with the lucky egg, it's really easy to just get a, get a good chunk of experience. I'm just gonna let Dana get to 79 and then put the lucky egg on someone else. She's really working out as a great mon here. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect, here we go. By the way, chat, I am kind of planning some more big things for the summer. Um, this past week was a bit of a mess for me getting things recorded and stuff. Like, as you heard me a little while ago, uh, I have the huge Silent Hill and Castlevania randomizer to upload, but kind of just having a little bit of issues getting those up. Let me do that. Tonight, I'll clean my PC, and then hopefully that won't cause any issues when I render that six-hour monster of a VOD. But, um, if you missed it earlier this week, I had a really awkward issue where OBS automatically updated or something, and it completely reset my recording settings. Um, oh gosh, pardon me. I'm just trying to get a drink because it's so hot. And unfortunately, I learned that after I recorded Digimon. Which, um, Digimon's like a 60 FPS game with a lot of, like, fancy battle effects, so... The, the reset to uh, the recording settings made it so that, like, the visuals looked all crusty and everything on the footage, so... That episode was a little less, like, lower quality than normal, and I was super upset about that. After that, I had to pretty much spend a few hours trying to, like, reconfigure all my settings to figure out how to make it, like, working good again. Digimon episode was good enough to watch? Okay, that's good. It didn't really have an issue during cutscenes or dialogue, but... It got really crusty when the game had to do, like, any kind of, like, huge movement on screen for a bit. Take it out. Get to 79. Might be one more battle after this. Two, three, four, four. Here comes Growlithe. Get a boop. Put that there. Bot doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it just looks weird for me. One, one, one. Oh, come on. So close to 79 there. One more ought to do it. Hit it with that. Okay, Rapid Ash is gonna die now. We're good. Fix my seat. I should be able to get through Digimon in one more stream, yeah. We'll do that later in the week. Two, three, four, four. Excellent. Attack is looking pretty darn high there. Alright. How close was Sonic to another level? Not very close at all. Charizard close enough. Could probably just use the grass type grass. Alright, let me take this off, Dana. There we go. Um. Yeah, I'll put you up there. Anyways, what was I saying about, like, OBS being funky? Yeah, I don't know what the deal with it was, but it just decided to, like, ruin the recording for a bit. Let's see here. No, damn it. I didn't want to give it the charcoal back. Luckily, everything's fixed up and everything seems to be working just fine again. Hmm. Lie. Right, it's at the edge of Mahogany Town. It took me a second to remember where the heck the grass was for this. Excellent. But yeah, I didn't get nearly as much stuff done as I wanted during the past week. I was meant to do a ton of editing last couple days... And I did get things done, but not nearly enough. Let me get some more water, you're right. I really need to just chug some more. Once I might need to take a break to fill up again. There we go. One one seven one. Hold up a sec, I can barely got room to stretch right now, but I should. Okay, slight one here, I'm good. Take all the breaks you need to stay cool and hydrated, heck yeah. Gotta beat the heat. Especially since I don't really want to have some ice cream, I bonked the desk right there. 
Hey. I can't see you. <sighs> so close. One more should do it, and then we'll just go to the, the lighthouse. I still need to teach Vaporeon Whirlpool, though. Alright, set him on fire. Although fire is the last thing I want to imagine right now in this heat. Okay, all good. On the bright side, even though I didn't get as much editing done as I wanted, I have, like, kind of gotten started on a few other video-related things. Don't think I'm getting multiple multiple videos out this month like I wanted, but that's fine. Can't really help if a freaking massive heat wave happens. Okay, we need to go to Olivine. I can't get the secret potion because I haven't spoken to Jasmine yet. Now let's heal up and get in there. May I see your Pokemon? You may. The lighthouse would be a pain to leave and re-enter, so I should probably spend my money on some more potions and stuff. Let's go grab some of that right quick. I got a little bit of money from the trainers at Lake of Rage. A little bit, he says. Maybe buy a few more Great Balls. I don't know if I'll need them for anything. Hyper Potions. Okay. Moominite will come later. Maybe I'll just, like, fish one up at, uh... Blackthorn? I don't know, maybe. I'm trying to think it'd be worth it there. I don't need Repels for the Lighthouse. This should be good. Okay. I'll take a couple of paralyzed heals for the road just in case someone decides to T-wave me. I could get the crystal version, like, extreme speed one, that's right. That might be a not good idea. Hang on. What am I doing? This is the wrong pocket. Let me go down here for Whirlpool. I can always delete this later when we get to Blackthorn. By the time I need to go within the Elite Four, easy to do this. Get rid of Quick Attack. At least Sand Attack might be able to do something in an emergency. You never know. Moomin with Extreme Speed, yeah. I don't know, maybe the Extreme Speed Dratini would be the best one to go for, so maybe I should wait a bit longer. Here's Corsola. I don't need to play with the Corsola. I'll keep the Lucky Egg on Alucard for a moment. So for those of you just joining us, I haven't been... Wait, what? Did I not just teach at Whirlpool? I didn't beat Price yet. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Dude, how did I forget I had to beat Price? I guess for some reason my brain thought I already did that last episode or something. Whatever. This is okay. This just gives me more of an opportunity to train. I got some training in at Lake of Rage, so now we're good to fight. Your Pokemon are fully healed. Let's go in. Price is pretty forgettable. Yeah, he is. Oh, pardon me. Oh. This is where the gym is in Vanilla. My brain just autopilot walked over there. Maybe the fact that I was exiting out of that side before. Oh, I can access the grass here now. What's here? Being inside of Price's gym will help you cool down. True. Level 70 wild Pokemon. Holy crap. Jeez. If they're giving me this spot to train... God, what, what else is coming up ahead? Alright, so we got Pidgeot and Ninetales. What else is here? Hello, friend. Welcome. Go away, Ninetales. Go away. On the bright side for this week, I did, um, I did finally get my mom to go with me down to the walking trail again. Oh, so do what -o. Not Charizard battling Pokemon, though, that's for sure. 
My legs feel like they've been getting a good workout again. I actually haven't been able to do much exercise uh, since, like, I hit my head back in spring. Okay, there's a Wigglytuff. Maybe I can set this on fire for a moment. Let's do that. It always takes a bit for your body to, like, get used to exercise when you take, like, a bit of a break from it. And, like, I've fallen out of exercise before, but I was doing so well, but... <laughs> you can't just... Con you I physically can't do it. Or couldn't do it once I hit my head. Sorry, my words are all over the place. Maybe I'm gonna pass out from the heat in a moment. If you hear, if you hear a big, like, donk against my desk there, then assume I just, like, passed out and call my brother or something. Wigglytuff is there, 1635. Oh, it's storming outside for you? I'm jealous. I wish I had a storm right now. No king? Need a concerned bear emote? No, 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 we don't need no concerned teddies. Everything is okay. I'm joking, chat. There we go. I'm not gonna die. We don't need the help, Teddy, for this one. Everything's just A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Send Dylan a health bear. If I don't say anything into the mic for, like, uh, five straight minutes, the health bear will automatically activate. It's like those buttons that senior citizens wear, where, like, the, they fall over, you push them, and it alerts, like, emergency services. Except for me, it's just a bear holding up a help sign. Heavy rain and thunder and lightning. Oh, I wish I had that. I've fallen and I can't get up. Like this chicken on fire. Alright, I should put the bear away. Looks like just a couple of weird Pokemon here. Could definitely beat up a few things. Okay, let me just move this here. All right, I can do that. I've fallen and I've seen the teddy. There we go. Work out with Dylan. Our schedules are too different for uh, to be able to meet at the gym. We can't really do that. Hey, here we go. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. Hope to see you again. I can do exercise on my own. There we are. To the gym! What's that in the background? Okay, it's just the walls like that, huh? This gym has a slippery floor. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. Obviously, I'm gonna have to beat up everyone here. Work out with chat, weekly gym stream. Hey, I can work out just fine. When I need to mash A button, I could just have like a dumbbell in one of my hands right now if I really felt like it. That's also not an Ice type. That is a Raichu. And it probably is gonna know Surf, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Because it's easy to go back to the center between battles. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. He was Surf, and he's getting ya. There we go. Um... Alright, just let Dana kill and leave. No, I'm not gonna stream Ring Fit. Take it out! Take it out. There we go. Golem died because Raichu had Surf. That's all. That's all. Silly shenanigans like that. Now break this with submission. Dugong making me sad. Would I stream in if it's Teddy Fit Adventure? Well, it's not a Teddy Fit Adventure game. You know I would if it was, but it's not. Can't talk about what-ifs like this. You see how serious we are. 
Yeah, you hit me with that rodent that knows how to surf. All right, let's get in here and do this. Teddy with a sweatband on. <laughs> Maybe Teddy or so with a sweatband. Holding some dumbbells could be like the next new emotes. Who knows? I think Raichu and Lantern could also learn surf, but that's just because it's obviously part water type. Let's go. I'll freeze your Pokemon so you can't do a thing. Bro thinks he's gonna roll the freeze chance consistently. Good luck with that, buddy. Here comes Cloyster. I'm gonna go right for Flamethrower, because Cloyster has no special. In fact, its special defense got worse going into Gen 2. I think we went over that last time. Not nah, didn't kill. Okay, that's fine. I'm still Charizard, for crying out loud. I should be able to take a single Surf. Right? Ah? Uh, yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. I'm gonna need to run back to the center after every battle here, but that's okay. All the levels I gave my team, and they're already, like, three levels away from matching them. Oh, right, they buffed its special defense in this mod. That is right. Forgot about that. Uh... Queens have Thunderbolt, but it's not going to be stabbed, so I think Sonic can do this. Let's go for it. You don't need Whirlpool, seriously. All shall be fine. This isn't an ice type. How's it gonna freeze me, huh? It's weird being in Price's Gym and seeing level 70 plus Pokemon. That is also not an ice type. Could just hit you with the good old Mega Horn and call it a day. Can Giraffe Rig even get, like, random special moves? Like, I assume it can learn something like T-Bolt. There you go. Luckily, Megahorn didn't miss when it counted. Beautiful. Dana's getting close to level 80. So I let her just train at the Lake of Rage. Darn, I couldn't do a thing. Can I easily get out? Yes, I can. Good. Let me double check. How close is Charizard to a level here? Could just finish that up in the grass to the left. A single level goes a long way. I feel like we are just like one or two episodes away from everybody just being level 100. And maybe even the later, later game fights will get to the point where I have to train people off stream from, like, scratch and make sure they have, like, perfect IVs or something. The Pokemon I'm using have good ones. Definitely at the at bare minimum, above average for every stat that's necessary. It's unreasonable to, like, have perfect stats for- to, like, reset until I have perfect stats for everything. That's what I'm trying to say. again. Light the pluff on fire. It's super effective. Oh, come on. So close. The gym trainers are slaughtering me. <laughs> I absolutely... You just need every little bit of an extra level here. So far, my fire type hasn't really been able to fight in the ice gym. Because every ice type that comes out so far has been part water as well. So they just hit me with surf. 
and make me run away scared after one encounter. Special is just about at 200 there. That's pretty good. All right. Bonus encounter it is. Fluff dies easily. Wild that when I entered Mahogany Town, these were the highest level things. And now we're... It, it, everything is nearly like 20 levels higher than this. Ice Gym has been a lie. All the gyms have been a lie. Alright. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this. Heal up and get back in there. All I need to do after beating Price is just go to the lighthouse and then fly to Cianwood, then fly back and go to the lighthouse again, and then I can fight Jasmine. I wonder, do you think that's going to be enough time for her Pokémon to have reached level 80-something? Because I feel like this game will probably do that, just to be, just to be spiteful. Alright, can't do that. I think there's a move Pokemon can use while frozen. Check out my parallel turn. What move can you use while frozen? Doesn't sound familiar. Octillery. Probably some fire move. Okay. Seems like Dana's probably the best switch in here. You can use Flame Wheel while frozen. Is that really a thing? I've never, like, heard of this before. I think it's Sacred Fire that does that, actually. Well, either way, I've not heard about this before. That's interesting. And the amount of times it becomes a good tech option is... I don't know. Damn, you got Flamethrower! Ugh. Oh, come on! I don't have Guts, so I can't really do much about this. Yeah, it is Sacred Fire that does that, okay. Well, looks like Dana's going down, I'm going back out. Well, yeah, the gym's having, like, random Pokémon. It doesn't really feel like a gym anymore. It just feels like more random trainers, basically. No, you made me wipe out. And once again, I have to go back to the I gotta go back and heal. That's great. Once Jasmine is beaten, then I have to go to the radio tower. The Radio Tower is just going to be a gauntlet of more trainers that just have whatever. That was basically Team Rocket at the hideout there. They just had, like, literally anything. There was not, like, a consistent theme of, like, poison types or whatever. It's basically just put a, po put a Pokemon up front and pray that your lead can, like, beat it. You can't really guess what they're going to send out at all. I know, Price is secret. Okay, here we go. Douglas got what? Stantler. Pardon me, I bonked the desk a bit there. I'm gonna just go for two flamethrowers. Probably do it. Stantler can get stuff like Psychic, can it? I don't know if, it's ha if it has any buff stats in this mod. Hmm. Confuse Ray is annoying, but I'm gonna go for it. Nice. The reindeer is down. Hmm. Golduck. Well, I guess I'll just let Sakura Thunder Punch it. I'm seeing a whole lot more water types in here than ice types, yeah. 
Water types are kind of the most annoying for my team to fight right now because all I have for it is Thunder Punch. Um, hang on a second. Isn't Dragonite like a mixed attacker? Because I could give it things like T-Bolt as well. I don't know. <clears throat> Pardon me, geez. Oh, cool, I'm asleep. That's cool. Do it again. Alright, now we play the mash the A button game and cry while we lose. Ah, oh, great. Here we go. Well, Dragon counts as a special type in Gen 2, so Outrage is definitely going to be a special user. Hmm... What physical moves do you give Dragonite in Gen 2 if you run a physical one? Yeah, that was pretty lame. I'm just gonna let Dana kill him with, like, submission and stuff now. That annoyed me. Fly in extreme speed? I guess, yeah. Fly is stab for it. I already have two Pokemon running Earthquake now, too, so I don't really need that. I really don't like this guy and their freaking Golduck and full restores and all that. Oh good, I woke up. How about a critical hit? Break its beak right off of it. Good, you missed. Good, you missed. Um, I don't remember... In Blue Kaizo, didn't, like, the AI cheat by having, like, higher accuracy than normal? Does that apply to Crystal Kaizo as well? Arcanine. I'll let Sonic do something. Why don't we do that? Seven levels ahead, so it can't do much. There's extreme speed. I thought about, about making Arcanine my fire type, but I ended up settling on Charizard. Charizard's been pretty nice. It spams Flamethrower and can use Fly. And you don't have to worry too much about Ancient Power and all that. Well, Ancient Power does have a buff, so it's a good move, so I guess I do have to worry about it a little bit. But Rock-type attacks aren't as common, even in a mod like this, as they are in modern games. Secret behind Price's power, he meditates under a waterfall daily to strengthen his mind. Did not mean to go this way first. To get to Price or Gym Leader, you need to think before you skate. This is the last trainer here, so we just gotta beat her. Oh boy. Roxanne wants to fight. She got Teddy! This is not a drill. A bear has been spotted in the wild. Well, yeah, with the trainer, but you know what I mean. When we see bears, we have to give them a hug. Hang on. I should put some Teddy fanfare on screen. Yeah, there we go. Put some bears celebrating. I don't have bells and whistles, but... I can just put a boppin', te boppin Teddy Ursus on for a moment. Wonderful. Now I should probably put the bears away already. <laughs> How do I get out again? Just do this, right. Next up is Price himself. I My Pokémon should be high enough level. Man, it feels weird how fast the levels grow. Let's see, I've been playing for an hour, and all I've done is I beat Ariana, uh, I beat the trainers at the Lake of Rage, and now I just beat the gym trainers. Damn. I'm kind of scared to see how bad they make the frickin' lighthouse. That's gonna be fun. Alright, now how do I... not here. Now that all the gym trainers are done, I'll actually, I can actually get a look at the puzzle. Okay, so I need to get there and go up. I see. Okay. 
You don't have an item now, do ya? I guess I can put the bitter berry on ya, since I got the soft sand on Rockman. Just in case. I get the failing flamethrower is not going to need an extra charge here, so I'll keep the lucky egg on you. Let's make a save in case something goes wrong. Could use Dragonite as a Toxic or a Thunder Wave setter. That's also good and true. But we don't know if, like, Elite Four members and stuff will spam full heals like Blue Kaizo did. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I've been with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. There we go. Price always looked so basic in original Gen 2. I like how HeartGold Soul Silver gave him, like, this, like, badass-looking, like, old man blue coat. I thought that looked nice. All right, an actual ice type is here, so let's go for it. Are you holding Bright Powder? I think you're holding Bright... Bright Powder. Hmm. And you hit Lovely Kiss. Wow. What a great way to start. Wow. I love them putting Bright Powder on every random Pokemon, and sometimes it just throws you up. <laughs> Literal first move. There's no other explanation. Flamethrower has perfect accuracy. Well, Charizard just got sacked for free. Alright then, I guess I'll just send out Dana and Mega Hornet. Oh, level 77. I just realized. God damn. Alright. I miss, damn it. <sighs> Already lowered accuracy with Mega Horn. Bright Powder sure made sure. Okay. This is cool. This is real cool. Any day now. I'm dead now. There we go! Alright, two Pokemon dead because of Bright Powder. That's fantastic. Well, send in Sakura and Fire Punch, I guess. Last hope. And here I thought this gym battle would be free, but no. Burn her. Burn her. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, that did so much. I killed one. That's something. What's next? Lapras. Well, at least it's an ice type. Best thing I can do is use Thunder Punch and pray for uh, a Paralyze. <laughs> oh, boy. Or maybe a crit. Wow, that didn't even take you to half. Oh yeah, I ain't living this team. I ain't winning this battle. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, and you got leftovers. So I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna delay this any longer. Like, I saved in front of him. That, that, that is just pathetic. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go again. I too have seen and suffered much, bro. You haven't suffered anything. Just losing two Pokemon to that garbage was mm, ridiculous. Should not have happened.
Let's go. Burn everybody. Don't think this is gonna one shot. So close. All right, he's using his first full restore. Now hit it again. And please take it out. Roll high. Or land the burn. There we go. Confirmed, I can kill it. Tentacruel. Alright. This will be good to hit with Earthquake on Dana. Rockman's not gonna be able to do anything in this fight. If every other member of the team is water type, I wonder if I could just go with, um, use an explosion with Golem, but can it survive Jinx's Ice Beam? Probably not. I don't know. Oh boy. Make this up there, friend. Alright, let's shake some jelly. You got no physical defense, you got no physical defense, you got no physical defense, there you go. A good chunk of change. And what's next? Articuno. Ah, yes. Just casually toss out a legendary. Um, gosh, part of me is kind of actually thinking about just sending in Rockman to explode on it. I get the feeling that Jinx might- because most of them are gonna have, like, water, which will be double effective to Rockman. If I can at least, like, just barely survive one Ice Beam, which is only normal super effective, I can hit it with Explosion and cause some chaos, right? Yeah, that's what I'm also thinking. It's Gen 2 Articuno, so it doesn't have, like, buff, right? It's not- or no buffs yet. Rockman's back sprite is so disappointing. Come on, just live one. Live one. We're equal in level, we can do this. Come on, come on, come on, live one. Live, 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 live. Damn it. Golem too short. All right, that's the case. Alucard's already taken damage, but I guess go for a flamethrower. I outspeed you, perfect. If I lose here, I could give Rockman a level or two and it might help. Because using Explosion in this game could be pretty handy. What? Turn one Sky Attack. Okay. Okay. Well then, it's not what I was expecting. Could probably just finish it with Thunder Punch with Sakura now. Assuming it- I wouldn't think you're in full restore range. What? Oh, it's got leftovers. Cool. And it's got a max potion, cool. Alright, I'm holding the magnet, let's see if I can do this. Does Articuno have good special defense? Uh. Oh. It's probably gonna hit me with sky attack. I need a crit or paralysis and the stun chance the same turn. I'm gonna go for it. Damn it. Ooh, hang on, we're still a chance. Damn it. How many potions have, has he used? He used one on Jinx and one on you now. There's no way in hell I'm living this. I have no physical defense or really HP here. All that's really left is Sonic and Dana, sadly. I'm scared. 
of us uh, of um rock slide missing i don't think he's gonna heal though i'm gonna go for submission don't suppose dragonite or charizard can learn sky attack sky attacks a tm in gen 1 so technically they can can't they if there's a way to do that in this mod that'd be sick Wag sire i should let Sonic do this, because I need to save Dana for Lapras. Oh, man. Because I can't do a thing. You do still look quite pink, Quagsire, but you're not as pink as normal shiny pink, Quagsire, huh? Did Charizard learn Sky Attack in yellow? I don't recall that being part of its move list. But it is a TM, so it probably should would be able to learn it that way. Alright, Water Absorb doesn't exist yet. Although, they didn't- they wouldn't let Charizard learn Fly in Red and Blue. So, for all I know, they probably didn't let it learn Sky Attack via the TM either. Only Yellow Version would let Charizard learn Fly. Which was really funny. Yellow version made some very minor adjustments to TM and HM compatibility. One of the lesser known additions is for some reason Mewtwo could learn the Payday TM in red and blue, but they took away compatibility in a yellow version, and I have no idea why. Like, that is such like a, a tiny but very specific thing, but oh, that only applied to Mewtwo. Maybe there's maybe they were scared of people using it to like farm money from the Elite Four and Endgame. I don't know. Okay, I'm confused. However, I'm not gonna be confused because I got the bitter berry. You see that? Came in handy. Had a plan for that all along. Hell yes. The Bitterberry actually came through. Level 80. Pile of Swine. Alright, I can do this. Dana can finish this. Even Vaporeon's good backup for this, because I can use Surf. And every time I see Pile of Swine, I always, like, as a kid, I always thought that its ear was like an arm, and I thought it was like a large hunchback thing. On the tiny Game Boy screen, you kind of just, like, interpret the sprites very strangely. <laughs> but I genuinely thought it was this weird thing standing up, and that big ear was just, like, its arm at its side. <laughs> Alright. Leader Price was defeated. I'm impressed by your prowess. With strong will, you will overcome life's obstacles. Now, does this give me any other buff? That badge will raise the special stats of Pokemon. Nice. This is a good one to get. Damn, over an hour in and I only got this far. I've been in Mahogany Town for an eternity. Um, I wonder if I could use Icy Wind on Vaporeon. It wouldn't really do good damage, but it has a high chance of lowering speed. Anyways, we can't go to the radio tower yet because the game is completely walled off Jasmine. I can finally go see her now. Did Icy Wind get a buff in this game? Oh, it's a 100% speed drop. Okay, I thought it was just a high chance. Your Pokemon are fully healed. Yes, they are. They better be. Okay. Definitely don't think I'm going to go for, like, a three-hour episode of this today, sadly. Uh, I don't want to spend all day doing, like, a seven, eight-hour stream. <laughs> Sorry, too hot for that. Okay. We'll have some fun things recorded today, though. It'll be fun. And tomorrow, tomorrow we were finally, finally going to play one shot. God, I'm flubbing my words so much today. Hmm. I don't know if I can finish that game in one stream, but we shall see. Depending on how, 
depending on how long it goes, like, neither split it up or upload it as one thing. To the lighthouse, everybody. <sighs> All right, here we go. There's a Kingler. It's level 44. Come on. No need to use a repel. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh, come on. No, no, if you train a Charizard that knows fly from yellow to red or blue, it'll still know the move. Like, the game is, is set that the Pokemon is just prevented from learning the HM. That's all. The game doesn't actually have a check to see, oh, can this Pokemon know this move at this time? Because otherwise that would be like a nightmare to like program every single Pokemon like that. Pokemon Stadium has a, a legality check at least. Like if you see a move marked in purple, that means a Pokemon's not supposed to be able to learn that ever. However, once Gen 2 came out, and people started trading, like, Gen 2 Pokemon back to Gen 1 for Pokemon Stadium 1, it started causing, um, some moves to show up like that. There we go. Like, if you teach a bunch of Pokemon Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and Fire Punch, and send it back to Gen 1 to use in Stadium 1, the game will, like, read it as an illegal Pokemon. But it doesn't punish you, because I think they had the foresight to know that. Gentleman Alfred would like to battle. Grand Bully. 75. Yep. I'm just gonna go right into Dana with this one. I'll get enough experience to hit 78 anyway. Every episode, it seems like I'm... At first you might think he grinded too much, but then, like, you get a little bit into it and you realize, oh wow, he didn't grind enough. That's just how this game is. You have to over-prepare. Break the bully. You think it would hurt if, if you, like, grabbed one of its bangs there and, like, pulled it off? Kinda looks like it would hurt, since it looks like it's attached to its flesh and not an actual tooth. Or two tooths. What am I saying? This is the most thought anyone has put into Granbull. 1429. Ah, I can see you're serious. Granbull's a Pokemon I wouldn't really use in much situations. Men of the Sea are always spoiling for a good fight. One of these days, I ought to try, like, a randomizer Nuzlocke, just so I could try using Pokemon I would, like, never use otherwise. Excellent. The Egglock was fun, but it almost gave me, like, too many options in some cases. And it was easy to pick out the better ones, for sure. Oh, it's trying to kiss. Can it kill? Nope, it can't kill. Damn right you missed. Oh boy, here comes Huey with the max potion. Waiting, waiting, waiting. No idea what gen I do that in, no. With infinite fusion done and this happening, I was still kind of thinking one thing I have been putting off for a while. Let's switch out. Hmm. Might go for a special move, so I'll do this. Um, I kind of been thinking about doing a Pokedex playthrough for Let's Go, because that would be, like, a shorter playthrough, considering, like, you know, the much more limited decks. Here we go. And I like those playthroughs because it's less about battling and more about just, like, casually catching things and adding to a list. Excellent. And before, I didn't, like, super stick with Let's Go when it came out because, like, I didn't have much of an incentive, but streaming games like that makes it fun to do. Okay, I'll just use Dana's Earthquake because Rockman is going to get hit by Surf on this thing for sure. Alright, here we go. Might do that soonish. It's always good to have some Pokemon playthroughs going on. 
Some of them I just kind of start on a whim. Uh, let me see here. Three one seven one. The only issue is that when I have Let's Go Eevee, I'll just need someone from chat to quickly trade me the exclusive for from Let's Go Pikachu. That's pretty much all. It'll be pretty easy to do, but there's no way of getting around that. Um, don't have an awakening, did I? No, I did not. Well, I'm gonna use up these super potions right quick. Get that there. Okay, good. People here already have that. Last big Pokedex playthrough I did was for uh, Fool's Gold, where I caught over 400 freaking regional forms. That was fun. Even though the Sevi Islands towards the end got a little bit tedious, for sure. The Sevi Islands tried to cram in, like, every Hoenn Pokemon, so... It's a bit weird. Plus, there were a lot of Pokemon in that that had a 1% encounter rate, and I would spend, like, literal frickin' hours trying to find them. Get that there. I'm asleep. I'm gonna just press this until I wake up, I guess. Well, I don't think Let's Go would take that long to 100% because of how that game is set up. Plus, it's just a relaxing way to go through. There we go. Good, good. Set it on fire. It has been one of those things I've been, um... Yeah, Let's Go is more actually designed around completing the decks than it is for battling, for sure. Alright, I'm awake, and I'm taking damage. I'm gonna send in Sakura for this right quick. Thanks for getting this up there, friend. I appreciate it. Snake Wood decks playthrough. Maybe I'll make that a sub-goal for when I really need money. Excellent. Riding the Pokemon does look fun, and let's go for sure. Excellent. 1926. 1284. We got... Murkrow. It's only Murkrow, but am I confident I can one-shot it? No, they didn't give this thing a buff. Only Mistrevis got it. Get a punch. Squeeze in a bit of shiny hunting, yeah. Shiny hunting is very hit or miss for me, depending on the game. Like, I end up getting bored of it rather quickly, depending on what it is. Scarlet and Violet, I got bored of shiny hunting, like, super quickly. Okay, Fero's coming out. I don't know if I could one-shot it, because it's going to be about equal in level. Hmm... Probably best for Rockman. I mean, what's Vero gonna do to Golem? Shiny Hunting and Let's Go is just, you continue, you kind of just, like, chain catch things, right? And then, like, you kind of see them appear in the overworld. Oh, it's got Steel Wing. I didn't think about that. Let's do that. You can even hunt... You can even shiny hunt legendary birds in Let's Go, right? Because I'm pretty sure the game has, like, sky encounters that are basically, like, post-game, where you can, like, ride around in the air, and there's, like, a 1% chance of each of the three birds just kind of spawning. Plus, getting the shiny decks for Let's Go is a lot more doable than, like, nowadays games. Hmm. Okay. Do that here. Mm, I'm gonna just let Dana do it. Send up the Golduck. Yeah, use submission. I have not even played Pokemon Go, so I don't even know how shiny hunting is. The only thing I know about Pokemon Go is that it was popular for like two months, and I've heard everyone complain about how they ruined it ever since. Break it. 
The duck is down. This duck caused me a lot of problems. I just don't even, like, care or play mobile games at all. Okay, Pidgeotto, send in the rock man again. Taking Puppy for a walk? Good. Give that dog some exercise. Oh, come on. Go Shiny Hunting is just basically waiting for events. Community days are once a month, and there's a massive shiny payout for whatever mod is featured. Okay. Yeah, I hate when that's when things boil down to. It's like, hey, do you have time on this day? And that's it. Oh, hi, Joey. What's up? This is Joey. Got a minute? Let's get together and battle. Things will go different. I'm actually gonna slaughter him. Hang on, I should probably use some potions right quick. Use up these super potions so I don't have... There we go. Have them cluttering the inventory anymore. Hyper potion. I kind of hate how, like, online stuff or like that is kind of tied to mobile games now. I kind of miss the online gaming sphere that was 3DS for random things. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone kind of preferred X and Y's like Pokemon communication thing, whatever it was called. Then whatever they introduced in Sun and Moon, people just hated. Okay. I guess I could just keep Alucard up front. Sakura is actually kind of getting lower level, so... Let me let her get some levels now. Lucky egg for her. And we'll go ahead and just give you the charcoal back. Don't really need to use the experience share. It feels like it's just gonna slow the growth of everybody. Just putting them someone up front with a lucky egg doing way better. I travel the world to train my Pokemon. I wish to battle with you. He stands here in the lighthouse doing this. Okay, Arcanine. This is not something I want to battle with Alakazam. Send in Sonic. All should be okay. I don't even remember what the... Like, online communication equivalent was for Sword and Shield. And what does basically Scarlet and Violet do? I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they should expand, like, the the online stuff. Because it got really boring right quick when it was just kind of waiting to play raids with people. And then someone backs out and ruins it. Ycom. There we go. Sonic use Surf. Break it. Good god leads down. 17.02. Scizor. Ooh, I can light that on fire. Scissor wants to punch. Didn't Scarlet and Violet have co-op? I, I don't know, you could, like, have someone come into your game and play with you, but I feel like it didn't really do anything. I think people only did it because it made, like, ver uh, the other version exclusives show up in your game. Oh, I must train some more. Yes, you should. Okay, let's go. It evolved Palafin. Yeah, that's all it did. <laughs> that is all it did. Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon here. She won't even smile these days. Well, an evolved Finizen into Palafin.
Hit him with Psychic. Do people be bring bad Pokemon to ruin raids? No, it's mostly just kids that have no idea what they're doing. And adults crying about it. That's what raids were. 2409. Wobbuffet. Oh, God. Alright, here we go. Uh, I could just use Explosion to get rid of this dude, honestly. I got revives. I'm gonna do it. I'm getting rid of it. Mm. By the way, chat, funny story. I know it's, I know it's, you know, uh, a funny haha -ha streamer complaining about comments. I remember a little, a little while ago, there was someone that got mad at me when I was fighting the rivals Wobbuffet. They were insisting that, like, Wobbuffet would die in, like, two bites or something. And they called me stupid for not doing that. And I want to know what Pokemon game they remember playing. Here we go. Well, at least it's down. No experience, but it's down. Dude, you're stupid. Wobbuffet will die in two hits. Have you never played Pokemon before? That, that's right up there with the time someone was calling me dumb for not using Psychic against, like, Ralts, because they said it would be super effective. And I don't know what game they remember playing, because, uh, Ralts not weak to Psychic. <laughs> Alright, I live this hit. Nice. I almost just hit Ice Punch by mistake! No, don't do that. Like that one where I used items and ruined the birthday. No, that was Christmas. That was Christmas. Uh, it was around last Christmas, I was playing Pokemon Emerald Rogue, and some guy was left a really, really angry, mean message because I used, like, a, a max potion to heal my Pokemon's health. And he says, you're a stupid idiot that needs to spam items to win, and, like, they left the comment on, like, Christmas Eve or Christmas morning. So I remember, I think I, like, tweeted about it, and I'm just like, I ruined this guy's Christmas. He was this mad. He spent his Christmas being mad about this. Wait, what? Focus band. Damn it. That was the only way, only thing that stood out to me. <laughs> because they left it just during that time. Yeah, that sucks. Alakazam dead. Quick attack might actually have been good with Sonic right now, but that's alright. I'll let... Actually, he's probably gonna go for another potion, so maybe I'll just let Dana kill. I ruined Christmas with an item. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Primeape. <sighs> now I would need Sakura for that, but I could just use Fly with Alucard, but most fighting types are Pack and Rock Slide. I'm pretty sure Primeape gets it naturally in Gen 2 anyway. I ruined Christmas with this one item. Sounds like a clickbait video title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's trying to go for it. <clears throat> I'm three levels higher. A. Oh, what? You did not just activate that again. Chat, what was it? 10% focus ban has a chance of activating? Yes. I love this. I love this crap. I love this crap. Maybe I should just go back to the Pokemon Center, because be a bit easier than just reviving at this point. Vaporeon's pretty slow. Damn it, maybe I should have kept Quick Attack. I didn't think it would be this handy. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, at least I can take the holes to the bottom. Can't manage a smile either. Don't think there's that many trainers, but still. Wait, no, this is the way forward. I could just use an escape rope as well. I think I bought extra just for a situation like this.
And then we'll just use fly. It's just easier to do this than spend like all the revives I have in my inventory, to be honest. The amount of menu in it would take would take longer anyway. Now I have healed. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. Should probably spend some money right quick. Olivine's like the latest shop I can go to. Ecritique is the one that sells um, revives, though. Damn, the money is piling up fast. I feel like I should pack some awakenings now. Uh, I still have poison cure berries. It was Violet City that sells the um, other escape ropes in that. Make a save just in case something goes wrong. Pokedex looking good. Oh boy. Yeah, you can catch every Pokemon in Kaizo. The reason they do that is for the the people that want to go ahead and do like full Pokedex. I don't think I do that for Kaizo on stream or something. Though people have told me that like the site Retro Achievements does have like a full like achievement list for Kaizo. You know what, I'll take this out. I kind of have, like, a bit of an interest in trying retro achievement stuff. One streamer I watch kind of talks a bit about it for some random games, and... I like grinding achievements on PlayStation, but I'm also kind of getting fed up with it, because a lot of games just have, like, really bad lists. Some of them that are, like, impossible. But for the most part, like... Because retro achievements is, like, a fan-made thing. So it's made by people that actually, like, give a crap and won't just make, like, impossible garbage for you to do. There we go. You ever see, like, the Team Fortress 2 achievements that require you to have a YouTube video that gets a certain amount of views? I still can't believe that's even real. That's pretty wild to me. Alright, let's use this. Could never finish Arkham Origins trophies because online was shut down. Man, yeah. There was an era back in the day where um, it was like a mandate for every game to attach achievements to the online modes so that, like, people... to kind of, like, get people to try it. Pretty crappy. Outrageous. Yeah, look it up. In Team Fortress 2, there's, like, a few in-game achievements for making a YouTube video with the game that gets uh, a certain amount of views. And I'm like, how do they even verify that? <laughs> like, how do you do that? Do you, like, contact, like, an admin Valve yourself themselves? <laughs> Not to mention, it also kind of is something like, hey, advertise our game for us. There we go. I think Gary's mod even has an achievement for playing with Gary, but he hasn't been online for, like, years. <laughs> that one's kind of funny and tongue-in-cheek, at least, but... Oh, come on. Bro, I've barely gotten there yet. Oh, boy. I heard that Retro Achievements added, like, support for, I think, like, the PS2 and GameCube era as well. Might be kind of a fun thing to kind of do, because at least the list will be doable. But yeah, what was I saying? There's a list for, like, Blue Kaizo for getting completing the Pokedex. Honestly, might be the type of thing I grind on my own. Let's see. I think they take measures to... They do something that you could pr try and prevent you from, like, cheat cheating or something. Sorry, I'm, like, flubbing my words. My mouth is a bit dry here. Let me get a drink. But in Blue Kaizo... Cerulean Cave unlocks after you beat the Elite Four, which is ridiculous, as it is. But they made the Legendary Birds Wild Encounters inside Cerulean Cave, so if you want them for the decks, you have to beat the game for it. I was also kind of thinking, when I'm playing games for, like, reviews... Ha I know, haha, I make reviews. Maybe I'll make another one after, an after a year since the last. Um... Like, I've been playing Mega Man 4 again. Pokemon in prime form. Or rather, I've been playing Mega Man again, and I've gotten to Mega Man 4. 
gosh, I cannot talk today. I'm just, like, dying. There we go. Maybe an incentive for when I'm replaying it over and over for the video. I could just check out the list for that. Let's see. Excellent. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah, hydrate. I am taking a drink. The idea of achievements are fun. The problem is there are a lot of devs that just make them not fun. And they only make them simply because uh, it's mandated by, like, Sony or Microsoft, pretty much. Hit them there. I got paralyzed heals so I can fix this after. Damn, 232 special. Zatu. Ah, uh, you might go for confu- I'm gonna try and hit you anyway, because you can't really one-shot me. Unless you're packing Sky Attack. Nope, Nightshade. That's your backup option for high special defense mons. There we go. Yeah, and fully paralyzed. So in that case... Okay, you're gonna Nightshade there. Huh. I'm gonna just use Flamethrower. One of the most annoying ones I saw in was, um... When I played Back for Blood when it was new, which wasn't very good, unfortunately, by the way. Like, I liked it for a bit. I didn't, like, crap on it like everyone else was. But it has one of the laziest achievement lists I've ever seen. Basically, it's just a bunch of, like, really random things for bronze trophies, and then, like, three trophies that are, like, do the thing on hard mode. And that's it. I don't think the, the list even has any silver trophies at all. Ugh. It's just definitely one of the laziest ones ever. Back for Blood is now in maintenance mode. Yeah. It was fun at first, but there wasn't, like, enough to do for me. Ugh, great. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Please get through confusion. This thing's driving me nuts. All right, perfect. Thank you. The best thing Back for Blood did for me was uh, get me play get me to play Left 4 Dead 2 again. Resident Evil games are fun to platinum, at least, yeah. Here we go. Dodrio's coming out now. Uh, I should be okay to use Rockman here. Damn, you got Steel Wing? I didn't think Dodrio could get that. It's kind of wild that these Pokemon are packing Steel Wing, like, specifically for, like, Rhydon and Golem. Okay. Come on, break it. There we go. Oops, they crashed. All right. Yeah, maybe I'll start looking into doing this, doing that sometime. Playing with retro achievements. I know that's something Game Champ also uses too. Here we go. Let me see. Hmm. There's a Project Cars 2 achievement that requires you to do a full-length 24 hours of Le Mans. So, if you need to have 24 straight hours to spend driving a car on the PC. Oh, that sucks. That sounds awful. I remember hearing that there was one for, like, uh, Guitar Hero. Some Guitar Hero game. I don't remember which one. You have to do some kind of, like, marathon mode that, um, how does it work again? It's some kind of marathon mode where you have to play a bunch of songs over and over and you can't pause the game. And the name of the achievement was something something like Bladder of Steel. The achievement was basically to get through all of that without taking a piss. <laughs> and I think it was a meme because basically it's like you have to get a friend to take over for you. I don't like that. Bro, don't hold it in when you gotta piss. That's bad for your health. 
achievements like that are just like, haha, you're not completing it, yeah. Do that. Bladder of Steel. Oh, it's in Rock Band, too. Okay. Sorry, Guitar Hero, Rock Band. They're all the same to me. I never played those. <laughs> That's such an old man thing to say, but... I'm gonna take her out, then I'll heal the team up. Actually, wait. I think after her, there's only one more sailor as a trainer to fight here. One? Oh. Looks like I made the right switch to the front of the party. Here we go. How long do you have to play to get the Bladder of Steel achievement? I don't actually remember the exact amount of time. Ooh. Lefable don't even give that much. Ack, my Pokemon. Hi, Joey. This is Joey. How are your Pokemon doing? My Rattata is raring to go. You have Eradicate now, Joey. Did I... No, I didn't want to do that. You're the one with charcoal. Sakura is the one with the lucky egg, right? I think I kept it on her. Yeah. I'll just use a paralyzed heal on her. It'll be fine. Where do you normally get a black belt in vanilla Gen 2? Because that would be good to give to um, Heracross. I can't remember if it's one of the weakling guys. Not weakling. <laughs> the weakly people. Weakling is just an insult. My bad. I don't think a black belt is among those. I think, like, I want to say it's in the Karate Dojo in Kanto, but I'm not sure. Alright, let's go. No matter what, you gotta fight him. Sailors are both kind and strong. How about you? Yeah, I heard about the achievements in the Stanley Parable. They're literally just, like, meant to make fun of achievements. One of them is to not play the game for five years. And impossible, it's impossible to get this achievement. Is that a real one? Like, they just put one in the game that you physically cannot unlock? Are they allowed to do that? Play for an entire Tuesday. <laughs> that sounds like something that would be in the Stanley Parable. You are both kind and strong. Heck yeah, I am. I think I'm done. What? Oh, there's one more. Okay. I won the battle, Jasmine. She's not up to it. How about you? Having to climb back up here is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, but at least there's no encounters. You know what? I haven't checked. I should see if they en uh, enabled the, um, the ability to use the bike in here. The impossible one you can get, but the way to get it changes. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, Sneasel's down. I don't think Sneasel got any buffs that I can remember people talking about. Wagsire. No grass moves on me. Um. Should be fine to spam Surf with Sonic. Here we go. Here we go. Cookie Clicker achievements have things like, you have a 1 in 500,000 chance every second of unlocking this achievement. Is that a real thing? I heard anything about that before. But that'd be funny. I mean, for me personally, I feel like, um, most achieve- like, any good achievement list should be tied to, like, 
doing everything in the game and not just like dedicating your life to grinding something forever to get it unlocked. Let me go. There we go, here's that. Every second it's just gonna pop eventually. Maybe. Use Psychic on it. Like, there were some achievements that I dislike in Sifu. I, I was playing that game for a bit, which is already really hard, but... One of them is, uh, something like where, where it's, uh, see every single, like, takedown animation. And there's no way to keep track of that, which is a pain in the ass. Especially since multiple, multiple attacks have multiple takedown animations, so... I don't know. It just seems really annoying to go for stuff like that after the fact. But it suddenly got sick, it's gasping for air, blah 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 blah. Can't leave Amphi unattended. Alright, let's go get some medicine for Amphi. Hang on, I should see if there's anything behind her. Can't do this here. Yeah, there's one over there. Coolest achievements are to do optional cool things in the game, yeah. I don't really like Dark Souls achievements either, because it basically boils down to beat the game multiple times, because you need multiple boss souls to craft weapons for the weapon list. And that got old for me really quickly. Let me do this here. Got enough escape ropes. music continues playing out here because the track didn't change. All right, now let's go to Cien Wood, since I finally got to talk to her. What's also funny is when a game doesn't have enough gameplay to actually, like, have a full achievement list. Like, I like playing visual novels on my Vita, and something I notice is that there's a lot of them who have that have, like, a funny little achievement where it's just, like, hear every background music in the game once. <laughs> so... Just play the game enough times until you've heard all the different tracks. Just as they naturally appear. Because what can you really do for a visual novel? Other than just, like, give them, give them to you for points in the story. Your Pokémon appear to be fine. Is something wrong or worrying you? Blah! The Lighthouse Pokémon's in trouble. I got it. This ought to do the trick. Secret Potion. Secret Potion in the Key Pocket. Secret Potion's Tad Too Strong. Offer it in Emergency. Okay. Alabine. Make all the wrong choices in Visual Novel. Well, you want to see all the content when you do that. What am I doing? I just healed. I'll do it again anyway, because I'm a madman. Make my Pokémon double healthy. Let's go see her now. This is gonna be nothing but just a long, tedious grind up there. I should just use a Repel, honestly. I'm not gonna get as much experience for beating these guys up anyway, since I'm 30 levels higher. More, like, 35 levels higher, jeez. It looks like I'll have time to probably just beat Jasmine. could poke- maybe poke my head into the thing. I might have to train depending on her levels. Hang on, I should use a repel. Nice. Yeah, but basically the whole point of this line of conversation I'm having is that, like, I like grinding achievements because they're fun, but the more I get into them on, like, PlayStation, the more I just, like, hate when I'm playing a good game and they have, like, a crappy list. Here we go. Nope, I can't use the bike in here. There we go. Excellent. 
I'm sure if there is a retro achievement list for vanilla Pokemon games, I doubt they'd include completing the Pokedex, but there are some mods that have, like, that have, like, an achievement for that. I know that. Hmm. So obviously, you can't really connect and trade anymore with the methods we're playing these games. Okay. Now let's go up here. Uh, am I going down here? Yes, I am. Yeah, don't want to go down that hole. Propel's effect wore off. That's fine. Why do I keep holding up there? Jesus. Will that medicine cure Amphi? Um, please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. How you feeling? Palu Palulu. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is so wonderful. Thank you very much. I will return to the gym. Does she just jump out a window or fall down the holes? I like how the remakes added, like, an elevator to explain this crap. Alright. Trying to instinctively hold to the left and exit like this is vanilla. There we go. Wait, I don't need to heal. I didn't fight anyone. Probably should spend my money before I go fight her, actually, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Ecritique and just quickly buy some more revives here. She could slaughter me. Remember how Price went? To be fair, it only happened because he had Bright Powder, like a cheating piece of crap. Alright. Spend about half it on more revives there. Buy a few more Awakenings. These are Super Potions. Nope. Ethers. Stocking up for these, because I'll need a lot of them towards the end, especially in the Elite Four. Imagine an achievement for Emerald, or Ruby Sapphire or Emerald, where you get every single shiny Spinda. You will, you, you will be doing that until the heat death of the universe. I don't think you could do that. There are 15 billion Spindas. God, there are more Spindas than humans. Oopsie. No, no, don't do that. Okay. You know what? Give me two more Paralyzed Heals, because I can. He ain't gonna have Steel types. Now the question is, how high have the levels jumped? Hmm. Probably we'll use Submission. Keep Earthquake on Rockman for the Soft Sand. Alright, let's make a save and go say hello to her. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse, but this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Jasmine, the gym leader. I use steel types. Did you know about the steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, uh, may I begin? Oh boy! Six mons. Okay, she got shiny Ampharos. Luckily, it should be 83. 83. Okay. 83. Yep, she jumped all right. I I predicted it, but it was pretty much predictable. Yeah, you're not T-waving me. <sighs> Iron Tail, damn. I can't imagine Iron Tail on Ampharos doing much damage at all, so... And it missed anyway. This is Rockman's time to shine. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, I got a crit. Nice. Deserved. A little bit for Rockman. What do we got? Skarmory. Hmm. Could be fine to use Alucard. I don't think Skarmory can learn, like, any rock moves. My stats should technically be a little bit better because of gym badges, yeah. Let's go. Sure, heard a loud truck going by outside. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, didn't even need to crit, nice. Will she even use a fortress? I feel like it might be considered too easy. Now, Porygon 2 can learn Psychic and stuff, but... Dana has good special defense. Let's break it. This at least makes sense to give her an Ampharos, I suppose. It had a focus band for a second, but no, it just lived. That's not good. All right. Well, if I can hit it again and roll high. Ice beam. Well, that's not going to do much to me. It seems like it doesn't have psychic, at least. Too bad I don't have guts. That would, like, absolutely let me slaughter this boy. I think some of Drayano's hacks actually have uh, retro achievement lists, and if you've never seen those, they're basically like a quality of life, catch em all type of mod. They're just really good. They're like play it's like playing a definitive edition of the DS games, where you can kind of do everything without trading and has extra events. Played some of them, and they have like extended versions now. They would be fun to 100%. I've talked about doing, um,. Doing like a Pokedex playthrough of one of them. All right, break that. There we go. Not to mention the handy optional patch that lets you move at like times two speed without affecting the music. That was very handy for Renegade Platinum. Scizor. Oh, have I got something to introduce you to? comes. They're all- they all seem to be level 83. Oh wait, I just realized something. I can't go to- I'm not gonna get to Claire next episode, I still have to do the radio tower. Okay. There ain't no way you live in this. Ooh, almost. What's the last one? Or two left. Slow bro. Throw in a steel type. Um, Dana's paralyzed, but I can just probably get a good mega horn hit. Alucard, that's enough. Come back. Oh boy, here we go. You can take it. You just gotta hit the mega horn. Just don't get paralyzed. Don't get paralyzed and miss. Can take it. Oh, come on. I thought you could take it. All right. Suppose I should just use Soccer and Thunder Punch now. Not confident I can two shot it. But at least I could probably take a hit from you with my special defense. Unless you have you're packing a random physical move. T-Wave, damn it. I'm kind of worried about that, since all of a sudden, every flying type just has, like, Steel Wing. Specifically to try and, um... Yeah, there it is. Specifically to try and counter Golem or Ride On. 
It does seem like most mons that run special moves have like an extra have like a random physical attack just in case you bring Alakazam. Luckily I got through the paralysis and we're doing good. Last one for real. Steelix. Okay. Can I still outspeed it with paralysis? It's Steelix, and I'm Alakazam. I'm gonna go for a fire punch. Looks more bronze than gold in Gen 2, that's for sure. Yep, yeah, there we go. Down my drink. Nice. Hmm. Sonic can absolutely do this for sure, yeah. Sonic and Charizard left against Steelix. Who's gonna win? Oh. Well, that's annoying. No point switching since you're gonna outspeed me and do this. Alright. Well, it's Vaporeon for you. It has a ton of HP. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You are a better trainer than me. So after all that grinding, her Pokemon were, were... All of them were higher level than my highest level. Jeez. Raises Pokemon defense. Okay, that's good. Got two badge boosts back to back like this. And now when I leave, we're gonna go ahead and get a call. How are things going? Called because something weird's happening with the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket's returned. No, that can't be. Sorry to bug you. I still won in first try for once, yeah. To be fair, her team members did have some massive weaknesses. Getting Golem was a great idea for sure. Thank you for waiting. All right. To the radio tower. Excellent. What am I doing? I gotta go to Goldenrod. Oh, they're just gonna block everything? Dude, what the hell? Are they gonna... Oh my god. When I have to go to the underground, I'm gonna have to exit, or er, sorry, enter the town from the north, which means I have to go all the way from Ecritique or Violet. Wow, that's annoying. Why would they do it like that? Let's see if they blocked off anything else as well. Nope, this is all you get to do. We've finally taken over the radio tower. Now everyone will get to experience the true terror of Team Rocket. We'll show you how scary we are. Oh, golly. Eighty-three. Um... I'm gonna have to grind a bit more. Well, I'm over the two-hour mark anyway. At least I got the defense boof boost from uh, Jasmine there. Stop the stop the damage. Stop stop at the damage. Stop at the damage. Good God, that did a lot. Good God, you're faster. I thought Pile of Swine was slow. Well then. <laughs> yep. Well, we're certainly repeating history here, aren't we? Every episode of Crystal Kaizo goes like this. I start the episode by showing off my team and being like, hey guys, I grinded 10 levels because the game was too hard. And then, like, two hours later, uh, I have to stop because we've hit the same problem. <laughs> Would you look at that? At least I won't have to do this when I hit 100, yeah. Which should probably be happening very soon. Well, I might have to train up a new Pokemon entirely from scratch for that, though, right? 
Um... No, wait, Golbat can get Giga Drain, so Crobat probably got it too. I think I'll stick with Alucard here, actually. That grass I unlocked to the side of Mahogany is specifically to grind for the tower, ain't it? Damn. I want to say I should get everyone to around, like, 85, 86. But by the end of the radio tower, thing will pr things will probably be in the 90s. Set it on fire. Breaking apart. More four two five. Too strong, we must watch you. Time to go back to Pokemon Center. Can you imagine if they like put an NPC in front of the Pokemon Center and you had to just like fly to a different town? Man, wouldn't that suck? Ugh. I wonder what's the point of blocking the, uh, the southern exit, though. Okay. They don't want me to go shopping for items easily. All the townsfolk are gone. Let's see how far I can kind of poke my head in here, though. What day is it? It's Sunday. Because I play on Saturday every time for this. At least there's a PC there. Good PC heal, but that takes too long. Oh, there's two battles here! Hey, keep out of our way. Uh-oh. Rocket Grunt wants the battle. It'd be super infuriating if you were doing something like a no-fly playthrough. No, wait, I shouldn't say things like that. That's gonna give other mods, um, ideas that they shouldn't have. You're five levels ahead for my super powerful Sakura. I'm gonna ruin my day with this crap. Nice. Right, Vile Plume's the tankier one. Trivell is supposed to have more attack, but don't really feel like it. Okay, here comes a buzz. We know what buzz does, even if it does do that. Oh, thank you for giving us up there, friend. Even if it has Ice Punch, Rockman can take it. Yeah. Come on, you can do this, Rockman. Hell yeah! Oh yeah, I couldn't get into the Lake of Rage without Fly, that's true. I had to do that, and I had to use Fly to get into Fuchsia City's Pokemon Center. Because the way the map is set up. Rocket Grunt was defeated. Oh, I give up. Haha. <laughs> How boring! It was far too easy to take over this place. Come on, keep me amused. This might be the last trainer I do for now. Then I'll just take a little break and switch to, um, Mother 1. I've kind of been at a pace of just playing this game once a week, and it's been pretty nice. I feel like that's a good amount for a game like this, because it's it'd be really easy to kind of burn out on it, but... Just kind of doing a good session of it once a week, and then training up a Pokemon so I can get further along is nice. Ugh. Probably not describing it the best, but you know what I'm trying to say. That's probably why I need a more casual playthrough, like Let's Go Pokedex. Yeah, that'd be fun. I don't want to do that. I did finish up quite a few playthroughs in recent weeks. I'm happy about that. Thank you for the bits, friend. Digimon is also... Damn it. Digimon is also close to being done. Wait, did you move first? Hold up a sec. Did that Vaporeon hit me with Surf first, or second? 
Cause, uh, is it have a quick wall? Yeah. I was looking at chat, but I know Vaporeon is slow as hell, so there's no way it would spend Alakazam without a quick wall. Maybe Let's Go can happen once I'm done, Digimon. Because that's got like one more three hour stream until we finish that off. Uh, I'll just let Dana do it. She should be fine. Ah, Max Potion. If you do Let's Go, I'll gear up Pikachu and get the specific Pokemon ready. Thank you. The only mistake I made was, like, uh, during the spring, I started way too many long playthroughs at once. And it was kind of hard to keep up with them, because that's, like, when I had the head injury. <laughs> that sucked. All right. Yeah, I have talked about doing Let's Go for quite a while. It's easy to get sidetracked. I've been wanting to do some more Pokemon Stadium streams as well, but, like, round two with rental Pokemon only is, like ridiculously hard and RNG plays a major part in it so I gotta like be in the mood for that like every once in a while it's not a, something I can just marathon there we go okay let's head back and heal right quick I could have welcome we're just about to wrap up uh, Crystal Kaizo for today now Your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. Okay. Yeah, I think we made pretty good pretty good progress. Two badges. And we made it to the radio tower. Let's hit save. And somehow I managed to beat Jasmine first try. But once again, we're at the regular problem of having to just grind again. Because all the massive grinding I did is no longer useful. So here's what I imagine next time. I'll probably spend an hour and a half on the radio tower, and then I'm gonna move on to the route after Mahogany, and the Pokemon there are gonna be higher level than me. And then I'm gonna have to... <laughs> then I'm gonna have to grind again. The ice path might be a nightmare. It might be, yeah. But we'll see when we get there. Oh my god, I just realized something. Don't, don't tell me if, if I'm correct on this, but... I get the feeling that this game is going to make me exit the ice path and go all along the mountains south of Blackthorn before I can actually get into Blackthorn, because normally you can ignore that entire route if you want to. But this game loves to make you play optional locations, so I'm assuming that'll happen. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop. We're going to switch to Mother 1 if you're watching on YouTube. Hope you're still enjoying. Have a good night. Bye-bye.